Adobe After Effects is the perfect app to create effects that excite your viewers. Let me show you all important features in just 10 minutes. Creating effects, text animations and templates that you can even reuse in Adobe Premiere Pro. So even pros can learn something new. You can find the download link to Adobe After Effects and free sample material down in the description. Let's go. We have to create a new project first. Via this button or File, New, New Project. Now let's go to File, Save As, and then we can choose the destination. Tutorial, video, and save. Currently, I'm in the workspace default, which looks like this. Let's start easy with the project window. This is where we can start importing our files. But for now, we don't have any files, so we just start by creating a new composition via this button right here. There, we can choose the resolution. I go for 4K horizontal, this frame rate, and this is the length of the composition, and then we just press OK. Now it should look like this. We can also toggle the transparency here, so we see everything is transparent. Let's start with a text animation, and for this, I first want a colored background. So we go to Layer, New, Solid. We select a color, and After Effects will automatically adjust the name. We just press OK. Now we've got the background, and the next step is to create the text. As you can see, your timeline is right here, and we currently have one layer, which is the orange solid background. Now we go to the toolbar, where we can find the text tool, which you can also activate by command T. I just press somewhere and type in text animation. As you can see, the new layer has just been created. We've got many options to adjust the text. First of all, let's double click it. Here on the right side, under text, you can adjust the font, also the size, and the alignment, which is centered. But if you want to center the text perfectly to your video, you can also go down to align and use these tools right here. Let's change the color to black. The font weight to black and make it a bit bigger. Let's have a look at the timeline. We can unfold the different layers and you can see some more values that we can adjust. For example, transform. Now this is where we, for example, can adjust the scale, which is really important for our text animation. But let me show you one simple trick that will make any text animation look better. Before we start animating, we really have to set our anchor point to the middle of the text. Right now it's at the bottom. This right here is the anchor point. The shortcut to change this is Y. And we can then move the anchor point by holding command to the middle of our text. Now, let's go back to the full view and let's start animating. For that, we need keyframes. First, at the scale. We have to animate this little stopwatch, which will activate the keyframes. And what you can see here is a so-called keyframe, which saves one specific value within this little box. So right here, we have the value 100. Now let's set it to zero. And just a few frames later, we can also navigate with arrow up and down. Let's, for example, go five steps further and set the scale to 120. And then two frames later, 100. So if we zoom in a bit, you can see the difference. It starts with zero, goes to 120, and then to 100. Let's play it back. That doesn't look too bad, but we can easily level it up. First of all, we want to activate motion blur to make it look more realistic. For that, we have this icon right here, which we can activate on the text layer. If you don't see this icon, you probably have to press this button, toggle switches and modes. Now, if we go between the keyframes, you see the before and after. Big difference. And that's how the text animation already looks way better. Now that you know keyframes and motion blur, it's time to show you a little trick. Because After Effects has many built-in effects, especially for text. For that, I will just duplicate the layer by pressing Command D and hide the first text layer. And then here on Text Animation 2, I press U which will open up all the different values which have keyframes, which here is the scale. And with a stopwatch, I can disable it and just set it 
to 100. So we have the clean text layer again, and now we go to effects and presets. Let's close the properties. And under animation presets, text, you can find so many different effects. For example, animate in. And it's so much fun to try different effects. The most important thing to know is that the effect will start exactly where your playhead is. So if you position your blue playhead here and you choose one random effect, then you'll see this effect will start right here at this specific point. Now let's, for example, go for paid up words, which looks like this. And this is how we can achieve amazing text animations within seconds. So make sure to get to know some of these effects and note your favorite ones. Now let's do the amazing effect where the mark pops up out of nowhere. And as a little reminder, if you want to create more amazing effects like this, make sure to check out Create Beyond down in the description. Get the maximum out of After Effects and your videos by joining today. Let's create a new composition, but not in the way that we did before via this button. No. First, we're going to import our footage. Just drag and drop. And now we can easily select one of these clips and drag it onto the new composition icon. And this is how you can create a new composition way easier in case you already have videos. So for this effect, we need two things. First, a clean plate, which looks like this. So the same spot without the mug and we need the mug shaking like this. And now make sure your layers are in this order. Down below a clean plate and above that we have this mark. So we see if I hide the mark, we see the clean plate. That's important. What we have to do first is to cut out the mark from our video. How to do it? We can use the rotor brush tool by pressing here. And for this tool, it's really important that you set your resolution to full. And then you just double click your video and you will enter the layer. Usually, what I like is I just take the layer and put it as a new tab right here. So just make sure you're here in the layer tab. And now first we can press command and the left key on our mouse to adjust the size of our brush. Because this rotor brush is how we select the area that we want to cut out. Look at this. That worked pretty well. And now let's zoom in with the set tool and go back to the rotor brush. Make it smaller by holding command and draw around this. Now what sometimes happens is that too much of the area is selected. So we hold down the option key and mark this area and it's going to be gone. And just like this, our mark is selected. And as you can see, if you go to the next frame, the selection will be automatically adjusted. And our last step is to freeze all of this. So the effect will be saved and we can't accidentally adjust it. So now let's go back to our composition because currently we are here in the layer. To go back, we either click here or we press the tab key and click on our composition. As you can see, the mug is already here, but we need some more steps to make it look good. First of all, I want to make it pop up. So we use the scale again. I press S for this. This will open up the scale on our layer. The problem is, you can see the mug is coming out of nowhere. So we have to define the bottom of the mug from where it should scale, which is around, around here. So again, we choose the anchor tool and drag the anchor point to the bottom. And let's go to scale zero to the first frame and again, activate the keyframes. And now let's do it similar as we did with the text. We first go to 120, which might be a bit too big, maybe 110. And then a few frames later to 100. First of all, I would start the effect only when the mark starts moving to the bottom from like here. So let's just start the effect around here. Now, the same step as before, we want to activate the motion blur. 
which makes a huge difference. I would probably just make it a bit shorter. Now let's maybe just adjust the rotor brush to make it a bit smoother. So we go to rotor brush here in the effect controls and adjust the feather. I feel like we can easily adjust it to 10. So the edges are a bit smoother, which makes it look even more realistic. Now to wrap it up, let's go back to our text animation and learn a trick which will make any animation look better. Now here, as you can see, we have our fade in animation. We don't need that right now. I will delete it and we turn back on our first text animation. And when I press U, it opens up the keyframes. So this is our text animation. Now, let me give you an example. Let's set another keyframe right here and maybe five frames later, let's set the size to 140. And what you can see here is that the text animation is linear. It's just one consistent speed, but we can make it look much cooler. First of all, by selecting both keyframes and pressing the function and F9 button on your keyboard. Then it already looks way smoother, as you can see. But let's take it to the next level. We can activate this little symbol right here, which is the graph editor, and just keep those two selected. And here you can see the detailed graph behind our keyframe animation. I prefer to do a right click and go to edit speed graph. Now we can easily adjust the speed. I again select our two keyframes and then we see some small yellow dots, which we're going to press and drag to the right and the right one to the left. Maybe even like this. And then as you can see, the speed looks completely different, especially when we make the animation a bit longer you see that it looks way more professional because when I activate the graph editor, it starts slowly, increases the speed a lot and then decreases the speed immediately again. The last step is to export our composition. So we could either export the text animation or our mug effect. Let's go for this one, for example. Actually, I want the video to end here. So I press N, which just sets the end point. You can also move it around here. And then we go to File, Export and Add to Render Queue, which will open up our Render Queue. And the most important setting is the Output Module. Let's just click on it. And then you have many different formats. So if this is your final video, which you want to upload or to send to clients, I would recommend you to export H.264, go to format options and go to something around 40 to have a really nice quality, which you can send your clients or even upload on social media and then just press OK. But here's a little tip. If you later on want to use this animation in Premiere Pro and then in Premiere Pro export the video again, then I would go for a QuickTime file, which has much more information. It is way bigger, but you get better quality. And in the format options, I would set it to Apple ProRes 422 HQ, which gives you a super, superb quality. And you press OK. Then you can just click here, specify where you want to save the file and then click render. That's it. In the intro, I promised you to show you a really special trick on how to create text templates in After Effects, which you can then always use in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's do it. So we go to our text composition and in a window, Essential Graphics, we can select Composition, which is Comp1, aka our text animation. And now if we, for example, want to have this text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro, maybe without an orange background, and maybe in the color white, then all we have to do is just go to nice position and then click here. So this is the title thumbnail, which you will always see. And we set the name to tutorial animation. And then the magic trick is to 
close the text animation layer to unfold it again, go to text, source text and drag and drop it in here. You can also edit the properties, enable custom fonts, size adjustments, box styles, press OK. And that's it. We can export it. Then select a local drive folder, save it. And the last step is to drag and drop the final file in Premiere Pro to your graphic templates. And there it is. You can drag and drop it right here. It will load up. You can see the animation and adjust it in the properties right here. That's so easy. Now, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Happy editing.